Hello everyone. It's Mel from Everything Marmy. Well, we made it. It's officially March 1st, 2024. It's Friday, my gosh. So not only do we have a Friday, we have a brand new month. Wow. Uh, I hope you guys have something to drink. I have my sippy cup of water here. Um, my, my videos, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My videos tend to be a bit on the longer side, and I'm very late getting started today. Uh, lots of things, you know, <laughs> lots of things going on. But here I am, and I want to begin with an add-on to the friend mail that my friend Tammy sent me. Uh, she said um, that she had forgotten to send a few things. And Tammy, sweetheart, thank you so, so much. I'm so excited. I'll tell you why. Uh, first of all, this book, The Greatest Generation, by Tom Broke, Broke? Um, I'm so looking forward to reading this. It's in big print, which is awesome for me and my eyes. Thank you so, so much. Um, and I'm almost finished my other book, and I'll give a review on that book too, if you guys would like, which is uh, The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. And I'm pretty slow uh, reading the fiction books because I have many like nonfiction books on the go, but I'm just giving this book a quick flip of all of the um, photographs in here. And this is, um, basically biographies of events that went down, um, of all of these people that lived through such a hard, hard, uh, generation, let's just say, <laughs> to say the least. And, um, yeah, she said that this was her mom's favorite book, and so I will treasure this forever. Did she write in it? Yes. February 19th, 2024. See, this was her mom's book. Aw. I will treasure this forever. Dear Mel, hope you will like this book. Mom loved history books. Love Tammy. I, I love it already. And um, thank you so much, Tammy, for, for sending me this book. We kind of did a book exchange, <laughs> I guess. I sent her The Artist's Way, The Complete Artist's Way by Julia Cameron um, to help her unblock her creativity. And she sent me a lovely history book. And um, okay, I'm going to leave that there. And then she also got me um, a package of quote stickers because I love quote stickers. They're very inspirational. Sorry about the crinkle. And there's, um, there's quite a few of the same ones. So I can use them in all my different books. So how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six of each, five, is it five? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There was another one in there. It felt like eight, nine, maybe there's 10 even. Nine's an odd number. Oh, that's, that's here. So two, four, six. So six of each one. And there are, these ones, well, let me just show you closer. Sorry about that. There's these ones. I love the font on some of these, they're just beautiful. And then there's these ones. And then, oh, look at that font, just beautiful. The impossible is often the untried. So true. And then there is these ones. 
And I'm not reading them out, guys. Uh, <laughs> I'd be here all day. <laughs> Let's see. Like I said, like there's so many of them. It's it's like a beautiful thing. Thank you so much, Tammy. And then there's these ones here. Sorry about that. I have fumble fingers all the time. Just because. <laughs> and I think there's two more in here. Maybe three more. There's this one. Look at the colors. Like, I just love that there's all sorts of... Oh, I didn't turn on the light. That could probably help. And, yeah, I think there's two more. Yeah. There's this one. Today's the tomorrow you worried about yesterday. Isn't that the truth? And then this one here. Live every day with intention. Is that all of them? Yeah. So there's so many in there. It's, it's lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much, Tammy. But, guys, oh my goodness, wait until you see this. You know how I croned over the paints um, in my Happy Mail when she sent the uh, Commit 30 Planner and I had to test out the paints? Well, little did I know that she orders something and those paints come with it. And I'm yet, I've got to ask her again. I know she told me, but my memory, folks, what can I say? Um, so she put everything in this Ziploc bag. I included the same, like the bottom part here. She sent me this stamp because she said she doesn't do stamping. Look at that. It's a planner. Receive. The implanted word. So these are uh, Jeremiah 52. Uh, so by the well. So this is the subscription, I guess, where she orders from. And then I just put this um, pen holder because she had given me these pens already. And so, um, and I've already used some. Now, this one here has four. Look at that little mouse. Daniel Smith extra fine watercolors, like amazing. Then this one has five, same thing. And, and this is the one she sent me. So I've already used them and they're beautiful. And I was just like, ugh. So each, each of these cards have different amounts. So one had four, one had five, and then it jumped to six. So these are six. Look at these beautiful cards. This one doesn't have any paper on it, but look at, look at this. Like the card itself is just so, so beautiful. And then look at this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then this one here. How gorgeous, not to mention the colors. These colors are just, you know, if you wanted to go out, you just take like, like a, oh, that's the wrong one. Like a water brush and one of these cards, like that's it. That's all you'd have to take. So there's those. And then this one here, <laughs> look at this little bear. Oh my God, he's so cute. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six on that one. The reason I'm counting is because it does jump. So two, four, six, eight, there's nine on that one. That one should actually be at the back because there's six on this one. Look at that picture, guys. Two, four, six. That one has six. That one has six. All these colors. 
Some of them are doubles, but that's like, I'll never run out. Look at this. Look at these llamas. This one has five, so I put it in the wrong spot. Let's see. Three, six, seven. This one has seven colors on it. So I imagine, depending on your order, how many paint dots you get. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. This one has seven as well. This one has eight, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. And this one has nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Aren't those gorgeous? Thank you so much, Tammy. Oh my God, I will just, I want to swatch them all. Daniel Smith Paints, guys. Daniel Smith Paints, she just sent me. Thank you, Tammy. I love them. So I've just put them all in there with this stamp. And so I will use that stamp. I have so many stamps, but you know what, guys? Like, I don't use them enough. And I'm going to start doing that. Um more. So that was from my friend Tammy. I'll leave her channel in my description box below if you want to go check her out. And I love the book. I love everything. I love everything. So this video is a flip of the two months of my Hobonichi cousin. And this paper clip was from the Commit 30 paper clips that Tammy got me and I literally had to use it to hold it together because after two months this is my cousin and this um, is a hand stitch leather tea cover in the A5 size and it would have slipped out if I never did that so it says don't give up so I'm going to remove that I was trying to figure out how to do that because I mean this you see like it wants to slip out so I just put this back in here but those are lovely okay just want to make sure that that tape is not gonna push everything away I really need to get this space like done up so I did put it back in this cover um, because this poor butterfly of mine, I thought for a minute I had lost it and I didn't want to, but I will slip it out of this cover for now. It's got the writing board here, which I use because I have to. And uh, it's, it, it's because when I get to the daily pages, you'll see why. I've been kind of using my daily pages like a junk journal. And that's why I had brought up like going to a junk journal because um, I can't be um, sorry, what's going on here? I can't be doing the same thing that I have been doing or, um, there's the butterfly. Yeah, I can't be doing the same thing in these pages to the end of the year because we're only two months in, right? So we're entering the third month. If I continue to do that, like I'll break the spine of the book or have to cut things out. So let's start at the beginning. So that's what she looks like. Uh, most of you guys know, but I'm gonna just do the flip. There's a pocket here, okay. I put some acetate here. I made this into a pocket and used one of these very big uh, Ollie clips and in here, I have like sticker kits and stuff. So it's really like useful. And then of course, there is the calendar. And I've done nothing really to, to mark off the calendar. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to. Then I put this little pocket here, which has stickers on it. And it was just to hide basically this 2023 calendar, but I still wanted it there for reference. Now this was given to me um, from Linda a long time ago. 
And so if you're watching, Linda, thank you so, so much. It's beautiful. And then here in my, um, I guess I call this like the tracker calendar or whatever. Um, I've just put uh, the scriptures of, of the day. And I get those scriptures out of this, um, and I've had this for a long time, Promises and Blessings, Scripture Verses, KGV version. Uh, I got this um, in 1992, and I've had to fix the rings on it a few times, so I just write them down. And then every month, um, I just have a little blurb about it, and I just pre-set up some stickers, some stationary stickers for um, the month. So there you go. And that's what the first two months look like. And if you're wondering, that's in a 0.3 millimeter pen. Um, what is it, pilot pen? mini ball pen or pilot pen or whatever yeah so and then um it goes to the monthly so i did decorate the maybe i can lower you guys down just a little bit so you get a good view okay you guys see everything up close and personal i know you guys can like zoom in but it's nice when you don't have to zoom in so here I did go back and decorate it. I filled in my calendar, all of that. So this was December, even though, you know, obviously I didn't move into this until right in January, as most of you know, because I was using my monthly books and trying to catch up in all of my other books. So I never jumped any books. Now, this is January, and I did try to incorporate some like it's kind of a mix mash this particular page I was dreaming of spring <laughs> but at the same time like the snow the snow was here and uh yeah I don't I don't know what to make of this page to be honest but I did you know put in the extra months except for that one doesn't have an extra month and then this is February, and I really liked how February turned out. I had some vintage stickers that I put down, and usually what I do is I fill up the book, and then, like, of all the appointments, and then I put the stickers. So then I had to tip in, you know, this one, and, and there's a video of me doing that, where I used, like, the sticker backings on a Project Life card, and just uh, stuck it in. And again, I had a February sticker right there. I'm hoping you guys are in screen. Oh, good. And then this is March. So I've just decorated March. Um, and it was kind of like, I don't know, I was looking for a certain washi tape and I didn't realize like my, my travel bag is like right hanging on the chair behind me and I was looking for a certain washi tape and I couldn't find it. So that's why I kind of have the same uh, washi tape here as I do in March, but it doesn't matter. I like this one too. And so this kind of came all on a sheet. And um, yeah, so that's March. I've put in some of my appointments. I don't put in all of my appointments for privacy purposes. And I haven't forwarded, planned anything. And I better move this sticker now, even though I do have them, um, I do have the stickers here, monthly, daily, weekly. What is that one there? Yeah, okay. So, and then it goes to the weeklies. So here is the first um, two months of the weekly. So this was the first week. And this was from Mama Gracie Plans. And I had to tone down the paint color. I really liked this. Um, 
I really like this setup because you got a lot of information in it. It's just for me, I decided like after the next one, I decided just to use the weekly as was to make it easier on me. But I loved how the weather was all up here. Um, the sleep trackers here, the walking steps were here. Um, a quote was here, two quotes actually. Um, my vitamins were here. Um, and, and Mama Gracie plans, she'll be in my descriptive, my description box guys. And then this, uh, next week was inspired by Monique over at Monique plans. And I love this one too. Um, and the dates are on the side here. And then you get an extra like one up here. And so you can put like anything you want. And so tasks, events, and then to do's. Um, and then, you know, all your appointments and whatnot can go in there. But the problem I had, <clears throat> pardon me, with this particular layout, although I love how like pleasing it is to the eye. Um, I got a lot more information in this layout than in this layout. Like it seemed like I was searching for it. For example, um, here are my steps. And here I had to go into each individual box. And I don't even think I did that. No. I didn't do that. So then I decided to do mini journaling. And it took me a while to get to it um, because I had a date day and then I, I went off and I thought up some topics and I wanted to write about them. And, um, and all of the, like down here is everything for the week. So I mean, and then I got this idea here from Sharon off the joy to plan what she was watching um, on YouTube. And then I just went to the weeklies and I did this spread and this spread at the same time. I think you guys might remember that if you're my constant viewers, but I did two sort of at the same time. I didn't fill in all the information. I just laid out the stickers and stuff. You can tell guys that my life is quite full. Um, yeah grateful and so uh, I had a fender bender in here on the 24th of January um, my fault completely my fault my foot got stuck between the gas pedal and the brake pedal and I couldn't get it out and I just I mean I, I think they they estimated it at like just over like 11 kilometers an hour that I touched somebody, but the girl in front of me was on her phone. And so she didn't even have her brakes on, which is why she was a little faster hitting the girl in front of her. But yeah, two cars, two cars that I was responsible for. So, um, I did put tabs on these two, um, because one said the car accident and then this was the aftermath. And so for me, what that means is how much, was that going to cost me an insurance and all said and done because I've never had like a car accident before. It's only costing me $17 for the year. So that's not so bad. Um, then I did this uh, Alice in Wonderland spread in February from the 5th to the 11th. And I put down these little circles, which I quite like actually. And then this spread here was the week of Valentine's week. Valentine's being right here. Um, very busy with appointments. And I think it was important for me to go to the vertical as opposed to the horizontal because now I've got the Commit 30 and I love the paper of the Commit 30. I love the Hobonichi paper, the Tomoe River paper as well. That looks like it needs some tape on it. I really love the paper. I mean, so far, 
like I've worked with all sorts of paper, like the Moleskine paper, the Stalagy paper, the Tomoe River paper. Um, this Tomoe River paper, I really love. I really love it um, because I like ballpoint pens. And so because I like ballpoint pens, I'm just making sure you guys are still in the shot. Because I love ballpoint pens, you know, I can pretty much do anything. Um, I, I rarely use gel pens. I didn't even put the weather on the 16th. And then this was February 19th to 25th. And I think that was the first time I put the day covers. Yeah. And I, I think this was supposed to be the Valentine's Day, like, kit. But I was just using up kits I had, guys. And obviously, you can tell this was not a kit. This one was a kit. And then this is this week. And so we are here. Um, and so, yeah. This one was sort of a mix match of different kits as well. And somehow I stopped. There is my pen. Let's see. Vitamins. Nope and nope. <laughs> and uh, meals, yes, I did eat. Uh, exercise, yeah. I haven't even gone for a walk today. So that's because, um, yeah, I've already, I've already been out of the house and back. So um, I didn't have time for much because this was at 7 a.m., so, and it was a while. It was a 7 a.m. appointment, and it was four hours long. And if you've ever had a four-hour long appointment, you know by the end of it, it's really exhausting. And so I came home and uh, briefly talked to my youngest daughter, and then here I am. So, and then this is next week, which I haven't got to. Okay, so those are my weeklies. And then, let's see. This next part here, I did take out all the cards. I had um, I had a bunch of cards gifted to me, and I was putting them in there, and I decided to put them in my card holder. So that one there is from... Laura. Thank you so much, sweetheart. And that was from my friend Anetta. This is from my friend Lorraine. Lorreen. This one is from Tammy, I can tell. Huh? And some of them are older in, the, in here. Um, I know that Thelma's is in here somewhere. Where are you, Thelma? Where did I put your card, Thelma? I must have missed it. Where did I put it? Is that? Maybe, maybe that was, no, I thought that was Tammy's. This is not unusual, folks, for me to Thelma's, that's Tammy's. Okay, maybe I put them in my new book. Yeah, I was working on a new book, so, um, oh no, here they are up here. Anyway, I've, yeah, I've got, I've got cards that I've got to put in there yet. Yeah, so this one's from Thelma. And then I've got from my friend Kitty. And yeah, some of them are just odd sizes. Um, this is also, this is the one from Thelma, from Kitty. And another one from Kitty. No, Laureen. <laughs> so I've got, I've got quite a few, but they're like different sizes. So I have to make a different kind of book. But I just haven't done that yet, guys. So I had, 
I had a card here, I removed it. So here's January. And um, I started off January with thinking I was gonna like go in and do my own vision board. Instead, this is a picture off of Pinterest, which was closest to what I was going to do. And so um, that's what I did there. Then I put a piece of vellum and then over here, I lightened it up. So it was quite dark. Then it got pinky over here with like dreams and ambitions as opposed to like these are what I'm doing today that I enjoy doing today that um, I'll continue to do. And the reason I did it that way is because I'm very happy with who I am as a person for the most part. Um, but there are things that I want to do, of course. So um, there's positive affirmations. Um, I want to go to Paris. Uh, I put shoes here because my feet are finally going to get like some really good orthotics. Uh, I've got pictures of Brazil here. I've always wanted to travel. Um, I love cherry blossoms. I love the beach. Um, and I love camping. I, I actually converted my van into a no-build, and there's a lot of books in the back, so it's about me. And then this was my intro page, more sunshine, hello, love you always, have an attitude of gratitude, and then live life and forget your age. And I was at my daughter's uh, in the city, across the pond and we had had pizza that weekend I was on a mattress she's got a very small place and I was on a mattress uh, on the floor which is better for my back than being in the bed although she offered me the bed and this is more comfortable for me um, and then we had to set the alarm because I was on the 11 o'clock ferry home then I've uh, added in some um, I always forget her name. I think it's Catherine's shop, but you guys all know this vellum, right? Um, I'll put it in the description box. So I added some vellum there. And then this is what I mean about doing my pages like junk journals, because I literally, um, although I didn't journal here, like I, I was putting a lot of information on my pages and so over here I tended to put and not all the time but I put my routines for the day and then I would journal um, and I would tip in some cards for my order um, lots of tip-ins Winnie the Pooh from children's books sticker kits washi tapes I used two of these puppies in a row. I got these off of Rose. Um, and I think her channel is The Rose Life. A while ago, we did a Valentine's Day exchange. Oh God, a hundred years ago, guys. Honestly, maybe six years ago. I don't even know. And um, again, I have more um, paper to journal about that. I do plan on going through that. And then these are like ideas and notes and whatnot and um, more stuff under here, more journaling. I even kept like uh, receipts, added Maggie Home stickers. Um, these were PET tapes that I got, I love them. Um, so there's, there's still room here, like right here and laugh, um, film, plan, repeat. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, a lot of flip downs, flip ups. It's because I'm trying to break up the writing. You know, this sticker I've had forever and never laid it down. I just, it tends to come with me with every planner for the last, I don't know, six years and it's, hold up, it's held up. Um, but I was mostly using these cutouts to you know, break up the writing. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
Some days I pre-decorated, but mostly I didn't. And then this one was different altogether too because I don't watch a whole lot of TV. Uh, I find it very difficult to relax in front of the TV. And if my coffee table was different, then I would go in there and do like art stuff in there. Um, but I just have never done that. I've always done it here. So, um, or at my other art desk, which is in my room. So I started watching the Gilmore Girls and I finally got to journaling about the one, like the one couple of shows that I did watch. My opinions on it, that kind of reminded me of Rory and more PET tapes. And then this was a piece of art from Michelle Hesloff and I loved it but it was meant to be vertical and I did take off some of the ends and turn it this way because I found it more visually pleasing and even though I know probably the artist was meant for it to have it the other way I think that because I can see so much more in it this way, it's fine. And then I meant to come back here and explain why, but I haven't. This page here is, you know, obviously I was busy. I must have been busy. Um, what's going on here? I used paper scraps here instead of washi. Um, here to show that like all of this is just scraps of paper. So you don't even need washi. I just taped it on. Um, oh yeah, that was another, it was another like four or five hour appointment. And then here, I'm just going to stand up and make sure you can see it. Um, I had a sticker book with um, strawberry shortcake and I had a strawberry shortcake love when I was a child. Um, this one here, I, I had masking tape from Vancouver and this is hard. It's like cardboard. So, um, I just put in like a tip in today is full of wonderful wonder and joy. I wanted to do some more journaling. Um, this is from a kit where you would normally throw that out, but I didn't. And then I kept the book cover of the, this strawberry shortcake. And then I also kept the packaging of this marigold flowers because I don't know, guys. I can't seem to layer it. <laughs> and then in here is a screenshot of um, one of my videos of my books yeah I really I'm not very good with the, the tapes and then these you know they have nothing underneath them so you know it's not all like packed and then this here is that's a picture of my my book stack somehow I'm just trying to look at it I'm half blind but yeah, that's like a picture of some of my books stacked like that. I actually, I have seven books I show regularly on this channel. But when I calculated how many books I actually use, you guys don't even want to know. So, and as the months progress, I'll probably bring them out. Um, and then this kaleidoscope picture, which I'm sure most of you remember... I was going to take my grandkids to in September, but I got that double pneumonia in August and was unable to take them, which is too bad. And then, when was this? January 13th. So I was just having, like, recollections, memory. Um, the short-term memory loss that I had uh, affects me today, even. And... I'm told it takes up to three years to fully recover because I was unconscious for three days, even though the day before um, my daughter found me unconscious, I was perfectly fine. Um, and I think that in part has to do with my military training and the fact that I was raised by a militant father, um, in part, you know, so 
Anyway, this is uh, the day that I got that mystery bundle and we tried the, the gouache and I was just like throwing it down on paper. I didn't really know what I was painting. I was just putting it down on paper. I love gouache. And then I just took a pen and I like made a real like scribble art out of it because that's what I call it. Brand new experiences. There's the mermaid there. I journaled a little bit. And then these were all the pens she included too. And then uh, the mystery bundle. I talked about that. Here is more journaling, which I did sideways. This is more journaling about um, it's winter and I really want to be on the, I really want to be on the lake in the sun because I'm a summer baby and then yeah I found out my friend Bert had had open heart surgery and what's under there just yeah more breaking up of the the writing but you can see how I, I'm doing my pages as a junk journal this is also from that same calendar more sunshine please I, I'm not functioning well in the cold um, I took like quotes out of magazines, um, another picture, my routine or changes and things. Um, Tina App uh, sent that with a few more. You'll see a few more in here. She, she has spoiled me with so many goodies. This is, I guess it's my party and I'll cry if I want to. I guess I had a really down day this day. And um, and I love this door. And this was out of like a dear uh, Daphne's diary. And yeah, I was also sick. So physically I was not feeling good. And when you're not feeling good physically, like mentally, you're not really there either. So I was trying to put in some old like tipping cards. Um, and then I, I was very grateful and thankful for friends. I've got rabbit, I've got poo, I've got this hummingbird because there was a nest of eggs. Um, desiring coffee, missing coffee because I can't have any. Uh, I can't physically have any. It's not like I, like nobody's told me I can't have any. I just can't. I have a hiatal hernia that just won't let me have it. Now this one here, I just took um, a Tombow to it, gave it some color. It's got a flip out as well. It is actually a Hobonichi A6 um, package. There's a window here. And inside of here is just a little... Can I get it out even? Oh, Yeah, it's just a little tag that says love. I don't know if I made this tag or if Tina made it for me and I just filled it in, to be honest, folks. But uh, for whatever reason, I felt it should be in here because of the butterfly. Butterflies are very symbolic to me. And so are like finch birds. Yeah. So, and this Avec I've had, like, I had this Avec book I've had since 2021. I just noticed that that's coming up. So I'm just going to add tape. What are we doing for time? 44 minutes. I better hurry up. Some of this washi does come up, but that's okay. Then I got a thank you card for an order. Um, here is another one of those pictures of me holding the pens. I was going to write about something so wonderful and never did. <laughs> and then this is see the world and make new friends. I mean, you can't go wrong with that goal. This was from a wallpaper. So this... This, I just stuck a picture of a pumpkin on it. And again, more journaling underneath. 
So you can see how all of these pages add up, right? So this one here is just plain, poof, the paper. But this envelope had Lorene's card in it and I couldn't take it out without totally, completely wrecking the book. So I kept it in here and felt that maybe I could put bits and pieces or whatever in there. Like I could tape up this part like that and then cut the top off, but I haven't done that. And I just put some stickers down, use some Tombos, broke up the spread. Again, the Angel Shop, um, another one of these. There's absolutely nothing written under here. The day, like you can see how busy my days are, like they're, they're busy. And then this one is, um, oh, this is when I bought this ridiculously expensive Starbucks mug and I got the wrong one. Um, I meant to get the one that keeps your coffee warm. And then I just used paper again from that calendar with Tigger and put some pictures down. And I guess my goal was to like minimize like staring at words all the time, you know, because um, like these, they're not overly personal or I wouldn't put them in here, but um, you know, they're, they're normal. And at the top here, you'll notice I have the steps. So here I was doing like 21,644 steps. And this one I was doing 22,968 steps. And my doctor intervened and said, no, <clears throat> no, she didn't want me to walk that much. But walking that much literally was the only way I could stop like the durable running around in my head for what was going on at the time. So, and that was uh, January 27th. Gosh, we're not even at February yet. The 28th, again, I just laid out, you know, what was going on. This is Sunday and a Monday. So, yeah, I just, you know, lots of tip-ins. Mostly it's stuff that would be like tossed, garbage but I don't toss garbage. You know, some stickers. This is Jane Austen's quote, which I thought was fitting because the kit here is Jane Austen. And you see, I've dropped my steps from, what was it? 22,000 to 19 to then 15. She wanted me around the 10,000. And then I got to 13. Bloom and love. Apples. I don't know. Can you see that? Apples here. A barrel of apples. They were a treat when I was growing up. And then I put another. These were those dot markers I got. And when I called Amazon, because I ordered like the zig dot markers, they had sent me these ones. And I'm just looking around to see where I put them. I always do that. Oh, they're right here. They're not as good as the Zig Dot markers. Um, and so I, I got a hold, like I, I, I've learned to just call them. So these are called free color spots and they had charged me the same amount for the Zig Dot markers. And so I got a hold of them and I said, wait a minute now, this, this not only are these not the right product, but I need a shipping label because like they don't work the same. Well, what happens is, is when you return anything to Amazon, they throw it in a big bin and then people auction on the bin. So they said to me, do you want them for half price? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and that was that. Uh, because 50% off, like, of that marker set. So they gave me a refund in my account. And so there you go. And now I like them so much better. <laughs> This is a tip up and it's got a lot of like, like writing under here, writing under here. And this is the end of January. So there's a lot of like stuff that's hidden under here, but I did write like, is it January? Like, I think I put 
the last day of January already. <laughs> um, and then I was talking about a Timu order that I, I put in. Or I got. And then this is February. I better hurry up because, my gosh, even for me, I'm at 50 minutes now. So this one here is the second month. Um, don't just think it, ink it. And I think that came from Courtney of Little Raven Ink, um, that quote. And I kept calling her all sorts of other names. I don't, I didn't even put up one of the videos that I had pre-recorded because I kept calling her everything but Courtney and I felt terrible. So then this is again, the same kind of vellum. It's different than January's vellum but it's still from Catherine. And then on the first, I have these Mary Inglebright like um, tip-ins. I love them because on both sides, the images are there and everything is really compartmentalized. I love it. And I didn't put my steps for the first. Where is my medical book? my steps that's because i was doing it by kilometers i think yeah i wasn't feeling well so what did i do the next day 9.8 which was 15,000 so i think i think this was like just I'm just going to guess, guys. I think this was just 11.5. I'm going to put approximately 11.5. Because um, I have this conversion table in, in here. I had to convert it. Because my phone keeps track. But, oh, 7.6 is 14.133. But that doesn't seem right to me because 9.8 was 15. So I don't know. I'm not that smart right now. <laughs> so I'll just say approximately. It doesn't really matter. It's it's close to the 10,000. And then here I came along and again, I didn't really like how this was looking. It was looking kind of blah. So I, because there was blue in this Mary Inglebright um, picture, um, and also, there is no more lovely, friendly, and charming relationship, communion, or company than a good marriage. Well, I don't have that, but I certainly wish that for everybody who's married. And uh, here, I made a pocket with uh, the February calendar, and it's a leap year. I used a couple of um, Disney princesses, paper out of Daphne's diary, stickers, and then that was the 3rd of February. So I just found that this was just like too much in your face like that. And then I love this spread <laughs> because of the pig. Look at the pig. I mean, that's how I was feeling. No bad vibes. And then things that made me feel good were strawberries and the smell of a certain candle. And then trying to get myself motivated one day at a time. I mean, this one had a lot of flips. One, two, three. And then um, just quotes. And then this one. This book, I I can't remember. Like, was it in a free library or did I buy it? I can't even remember. But it, either way, it wasn't very much. And I just love how when you flip it, you get, like, on both sides, the pictures. Um, do not worry, eat three square meals a day, say your prayers, be courteous to your creators, keep your digestion good, exercise, go slow and easy. Maybe there are other things your special case requests requires you to make you happy. But my friend, these I reckon will give you a good lift, Abraham Lincoln. And I am Canadian, so huh? there you go. Now this particular one, uh, I put like a Monet picture and I split it in half. 
um, because it reminds me of a um, one of my doctors and uh, I have a lot to say here and I also put this vellum down from Laura thank you so much Laura I love that like in my perfect world I'd love to be knitting but I've lost kind of the dexterity of my hands and having a cup of coffee with a candle burning. Tina App and her son made me a beautiful candle. I love to burn that. This is also like tip up and this opens up. And then this was where I tested those paints that Tammy gave me in this package all here and even though it wasn't on the right day because it was much later this page was open and I just didn't care so this was done on the Tuesday the 27th of February but I didn't really have anything in there and then I went back to the 8th and wrote and then this was the 9th this was from Shine Sticker Studio. And then this packaging here. Where is it? Oh, it's on the next page. Uh, things to remember. You're allowed to change your plans. You don't have to be happy all the time. Showing emotions is healthy and okay. Authenticity is better than perfection. And you're amazing just the way you are. And then here... Um, a little bit about my day. I did use this um, piece from the packaging that um, please don't let me forget your name, sweetheart. Where are you? Where are you? all stuck together. Why have you stuck together? Okay. Um, she has a channel too and it's totally blowing my mind right now that I can't remember her name. Let's just see. Sorry guys. Like, I was in tears over this. Oh, Lisa. And her channel is Life with Lisa Ann. And she does the most wonderful journal spreads and planner spreads, guys. And I was just so touched by... Um, she sent me this book. I always have it near me. The Pocket Bible Devotional for Women. I've been reading it every day. Thank you so much. Um, I always have it near me, and I was just so touched by it that I was in tears. And she didn't have to send that to me. It was like a thank you gift. She won a contest, and like, yeah. And then the next spread, I had painted these pages, and I used Posca markers. I did find them. So there are my Posca markers. They're the big ones. So uh, I'm not in a hurry to rush out and buy the little ones because they're quite expensive. So I just said, time for a new week, Sunday reset, memories, which I hooped up and got all over my hand, and hashtag beautiful memories is what it was. And I put, like, heart flowers. <laughs> and then the next page is February 12th and 13th. And again, I cut these all out of a cloth and paper. Most of these next decorations were out of this cloth and paper magazines. Uh, two years, 12 issues for only $44. Um, I tend to find them at thrift stores. So, so I use this image just to break up the page. Um, I got this Moleskine planner somewhere along here. I'm not sure if it was this day, but it cost me 99 cents. And it's like, I think it was like a 2020. Yeah, it's a weekly one. 
And that's a face. I know I had to look at it a while too. Her face is looking down. And so then this was Valentine's Day. Uh, more snow today. Happy mail. Daphne's diary, which I love, 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 love. <laughs> so important to prioritize the well-being of finding joy. And so then I used this beautiful um, acetate. I love it. And then I put these vintage papers down. These were out of Daphne's diary. And then same with over here. This one was out of actually that cloth and paper one. And so was this one. And this was part of the flowers that wouldn't fit. And I just, I love these kind of art um, expressional things. And if you admire to that and try to achieve that, I believe eventually you'll get your own style. And then underneath is a little poem about Valentine's Day and about really you should be your own. So, um, and then this was the next day. I used a couple of those flip ups counting my blessings every day. Here's the 16th. So yeah, what are we doing? So 11,000 steps. I've been walking every day, guys. Every day. So uh, this day here, which was the 11th of February, I only managed 7,258 steps. Sometimes I'm not feeling good at all, and it's all I can do. And that's fine. Uh, other days I do much better. So here I did 18,000. My doctor's never happy with that. I got steroid injections in my back for over 10 years. So my bones aren't the strongest. If I was to take a fall, I could break something. That's why there's a limitation on how far she wants me to walk, when she wants me to walk, etc. Um, aging is an art form, folks, let me tell you. So this here is just like paper from Daphne's diary with a little princess in it. Same kind of thing. Um, I was blessed with a car seat and a baby book with Peter Rabbit on this day. And then on the 18th, see, I was closer, 11,281. Uh, this day, oh, um, Tammy got the August to sleep. He made it home. And on the 19th, I walked like 17,050, 500 steps. And I treated myself to the dollar store. Well, I had to get a birthday bag for my son-in-law who was turning 38. Um, and some tissue paper and a few other things. And then I went and got my nails done. Uh, I also got some coconut, Thai coconut. What was it? Thai coconut shrimp soup. Thai coconut shrimp soup, which was absolutely divine. And it was like four meals and so inexpensive. And then this one flips up too. Uh, looking forward to seeing the family tomorrow, Harvey's basketball game. But the next day, I met my oldest daughter at her place because we were walking over. And um, unfortunately, the schools got mixed up because on the 19th, which was a Monday, we had family day here in Canada. In the United States, it's... President's Day. So some some organizations honor Family Day and some do not. The school systems do. And so I guess the game was supposed to be on this Monday, but because of the Family Day, uh, they sent out emails for the 20th, but didn't set it up with the school. And so we ended up just hanging out at the park, spending time together. And my son-in-law loved his gifts which if you're asking were, I bought them an air fryer and they were like a bacon and egg um, 
like, you know, those silicone containers and one was for steak and chicken. So three pieces. We don't, we don't necessarily do big things. And then I, I was just feeling girly. I was feeling girly. I mean, I don't wear this stuff. I do have perfume. Occasionally I'll put on some blush. Um, but gosh, I mean, there's no way I could wear heels like that. I mean, that's a weapon. <laughs> um, and then the, we're almost done. February 22nd. I'm trying to convince myself, be happy. I'm like, with like, when was this? Yeah, this was the day that the doctor told me I did not have Meniere's disease. And so I was like confused and frustrated and I had to tell myself to snap out of it. Thank you, Mary Engelberry. Uh, I put a quote down. The page looks like crap, but you, you see? The page looks like crap, but I just like covered it up and just told myself, no, be happy. That's one less medication you have to take, but I didn't get weaned off it, folks. They just simply said, you know what? you are off of it. So I've had some side effects. This next one, this thing kept showing up all the time, this elk. So I just finally stuck them down. I'm dreaming of camping. Um, I love this Crayola Super Tips, which painted this page. And um, yeah, I just put down some words. Are they my favorite spreads? No, of course not. Do they have to be? No. This next one is interesting though. This I used as a gratitude page, February 24th and February 25th. The whole weekend, I just counted my blessings. I cut out some vellum. You know, when you have lemons, make lemonade. So I made one circle bigger than the other half a circle. I've got myself looking like that and then looking like that. And, um, you know, I put some of my face stuff in here. And then February 26th, uh, I saw like a couple of rabbits running through um, the garden area. And this was from, I want to say Daphne's Diary, some stickers. And then this one was from a sticker order. And... I brought a basket into the pain clinic for everybody. It was a huge basket. I don't even know how I hold it. Um, and then these are the last two pages. Um, I wrote village because it does take a village to raise anybody and you need a village um, to figure out things nowadays. And then I just like the look of this picture. It's got a flip up, it says, oi. I'd love to go to Australia. And um, it's got this artwork up here. It's very shiny. It's hard to see what it is, but it's actually like a framed piece of um, almost like a picture with a line down it with a vintage thing and like it's mixed. And then I taped it down there. And then this is how the city was looking in the morning but it reminds me of San Francisco in the 50s. That's what it really reminds me of. And then this, the 29th, which was yesterday, this is my word for the year, journey. And I started off with a word for the month, which was grow. And it usually takes two months for anything to grow, just like this book. So now, it's evident to me what my journey is. There's dimension because in anything that's worth doing, there's more than one level of doing it. I put listen to many, speak to a few. That was from Hamlet. And then under here, I just kind of cut my letters of the, my name and put some journaling, journaling and put the name Catherine up here. Um, and that is pretty much it. This is March. 
don't look back. You are not going that way. And another piece of vellum to start for tomorrow. So that is the flip of this massive Hobonichi cousin. Please leave in the comments what you think about it. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do very, very quickly. I know we're running like long, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to now change. Um, oh yeah, I didn't show you the back, the vision board. Um, that was from Shine Sticker Studio. I can't remember. <laughs> Like some of them are so old, like the Planner Society, I don't remember. Um, but I literally have to use like a paper clip now to close this up. So thank you, Tammy, because like seriously, like this thing's so full. So I just like pick a paper clip and I like the one that says don't give up. So like, let's get it in there. So see it kind of, hmm, maybe I have to do it over here. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's just too big. I think it's just too big. Worked before, but there. Um, so I know I, I have two choices. I can... I think it's either this journal out of all the ones that I showed you because even though I'm not like heavily fond of the cover, I would change that. But this would, um, like it's so elementary, this book. It just needs love. It was one of my first books and it really needs some love. And I really think I can give it some love. Yeah. So I might use this one. It's only two signatures. There's a lot of room for expansion. Um, I don't know how I feel about this, except that, you know. Or while I'm working on that, I take this cereal box and make my next journal. And I think that's what I'm going to do because I know that I want I want a soft cover, but I'm gonna need time to make it. I do have a lot of journals, folks, but I want one specifically. And I won't be able to do the entire process on camera because I simply don't have the room. But I really like this limited edition box. I've kept this cereal box for that reason. So I think I'll be using this. I think I'm going to um, redo the tie make it a tassel, add it some beads, and, um, and then not use the pages in my Hobonichi so much because like there's no way that this is going to go very far if I keep doing that at all. So <clears throat> I either like proceed on with another book or <laughs> I break the spine of my Hobonichi cousin and um, and there's so many more like ephemeras that I want to put in here like that I can't so um, and I love I love glue booking I love working on scrapbooking and um, I have so many stories to tell so with that all being said, I want to thank you again, sweetheart. And I'm talking about my friend Tammy for sending me these wonderful quote stickers, these beautiful paints, and this lovely stamp. But most of all, this book that your mother's handwriting is in, your handwriting it is in. And it's my next book that I read. So... Thank you guys all. If you watched all of this video, let me know somehow. I don't know. Maybe, maybe put a little funny face or something at the end of it. At the end of your sentence. 
not at the beginning or in the middle, but right at the end, and then I'll know. Okay, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did enjoy this flip and you haven't subscribed, um, I I hope you will. I don't have ads on my, my channel, um, and I don't monetize it for um, just because I, I want, you know, everybody to feel like there's a safe, happy place here that you could just come and work and just relax. So, um, and if you could like this video too, that makes my day. It really does. And I could do more flips. Um, let me know if you want me to carry on doing more flips of my other books. I have many other books. And, um, in the meantime, folks, remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. You are loved, needed, and wanted far, far more than you will ever know. And I will speak with you later. Thank you again, Tammy, with all of my heart. Thank you so much, everyone. Please be safe. Bye for now.